So yesterday was a very special day. It was Earth Day. And raise your hand, did anyone go outside yesterday? Wasn't it a gorgeous day? I went outside, I was gardening, so I was helping to take plant things and weed, sorry? Oh, that is so awesome, what a great idea, you know, sharing poetry on Earth Day. Well, today in worship and after worship in Spelman Hall, we also are celebrating Earth Day. And it's one of the things that we get to do as a community of faith is to take care of creation. And I brought the Bible. This is the one that we gave last week when we had baptism families here. It's our story Bible that we are sharing with families. And it starts off in the very beginning of the Bible with creation. And it has beautiful pictures of what God created so the earth and the sky and the sun and all of the stars. But do you think God stopped there? No. What else did God do? Yeah. Yeah, animals and people. So look at this picture. It has all the animals. So what are some of the animals that you thank God for? What are some of the ones that you really like? Yeah. Dogs. Dogs. Yeah, how about you? Whales. Whales, yeah. Tigers. Tigers. What is it? Okay, excellent. Are those those like little lizardy things? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, how about over here? Unicorns. Unicorns, awesome. Um, horses. And horses? Anyone over here? King cobra. A king cobra. Give thanks even for the yeah. snakes. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Elephants. And elephants. Yeah, there are elephants in the picture, aren't there? And then all, God, so God also created the people. And the people. Yeah, you got one too, Grant. What's that? Komodo dragon. Komodo dragon, cool. Oh, fun fact. Komodo dragons, when they actually bite a piece of prey, they actually leave, they actually take a bite and save it for the next time. But it actually, but they're actually poisonous animals, and they leave a poison mark. Wow. And then the next time, they, and when they want some more. They just hunted down. Isn't it fascinating the way God created the animals? So there's animals that eat other animals, and it, it, they're, it's remarkable, isn't it, how God created all of that to fit together. Well, one of the most important things that God created was people, because people are here to be good stewards of the earth. Now, steward, that's not a word that we use very much, is it? But it means that we're here to take care of not just the earth, the plants and the trees, but all the animals, even the animals that eat other animals and leave poison behind. <laughs> we want to take care of all the, everything that God created. So that's one Bible that we start with. And here's another Bible. This is a really interesting one that a friend gave me, and it's called the Green Bible. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but it takes all of the passages that the Bible talks about creation, and it puts it in green print. So if we look at the very beginning in Genesis, which is when God created, you can see it's all in green print. And how many passages do you think are in the Bible about creation? Um, it's big. As long as the, well, if today is 2023, then I think that would be two. Uh, you know, it's not that big. <laughs> um, That's close. It's in the thousand. Go ahead. What do you think? 1,500. It's over 1,000. Yes. Yeah. So then if we flip back to the one that Pastor Jenny is going to read about in Colossians, you can see there's a lot of green print there, too. So today we are celebrating Earth Day, creation, everything that God created, and remembering that we are an important part of that because we are all here to care for creation and everything that God has put in it. So you'll have an opportunity after Sunday school and worship to go to Spelman Hall, and we've had a team of people put together ideas that we can share with one another of how we can recycle and reuse and reduce the things that we use up in the world so we can be better stewards of creation. One of the things that you can get is a magnet that tell you about composting, and you can even sign up for a free tree. One of the best things that we can do for the earth is to plant a tree. 
So you can go to Spelman Hall after worship and learn more about all of those ideas. All right, will you pray with me? Let's pray. Dear God, our creator, we thank you for the gift of the earth. We thank you for air and water, for plants and animals. Remind us and teach us how to take care of all you have created. We pray in your name. Amen.